So we decided, when I started District Donut and Baby Scripts, essentially the first kind of tenant was, which one fails first? And I'll focus on the other one. When both of them started kind of like evolving, growing up, um, I made the, the main switch. So I spent about 98% of my time on Baby Scripts. And District Donut, I'm now just the, I'm, I'm the head of the board. Um, and I do strategy, like strategic thinking. Um, but I don't do the day-to-day -day operations. I don't manage the stores. Um, and, uh, and so for me, the trigger was when we got outside investment and I had to disclose whether or not I had a side job or if I was fully focused on baby scripts or something else. Um, because, and this is a challenge, so that's why like starting two companies at the same time might not be really scalable for most people. I, I still kind of wonder why I did that. Um, but you know, the investors are gonna ask you essentially do you have are you doing this full time or do you have a part time job or do you have two jobs cuz they're going to say we're not going to invest in you once like you can raise probably 25,000 50,000 dollars and have like a side hustle thing but once you go over 100,000 dollars i would never personally invest in any business if the person that i was investing in was had another job um, because you need to be full time on a venture on a specific project so uh so for me, it was that moment when we had to get, we had to really grow the business, baby scripts, and, and the ex external investment. So hopefully that's some gauges right there to help.